And good afternoon and welcome to Clarion Lone High School. Today it's Laurel Eichlin, PIAA Boys. A first round playoffs presented by with Supply here on the YT Media Network. Mike Kalinowski, Gabob Jungle, Chase Diamond, Dustin for all here in the house as we get for the contest today here from Clarion Lone. Opening round of the PI double playoffs and uh, congratulations going out to Union and Red Bank Valley last night. Big wins as they will continue on the playoffs. And we'll see if Clarion Lone can come in here and they're going to take on a Bishop Canavan Crusader that's pretty tough on their own, right? 26 on the season. They were the fourth seed out of the field. And uh, Coach Ferguson at 23 and 2 on the season. And of course, the Lions are the D9 champion. Governor. This should be a real good one here at Clarion Limestone. It is a packed house here this afternoon. It's going to be warm inside and so play on the court. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I had people asking all week, well, what time do you think we're going to be allowed to get in there? Look, typically it's about an hour before time. I said you may get inside the lobby or not get inside the gym. But let's just say it has not taken very long, Michael, this gym to fill right up. Do you want to make our additional sponsors on the broadcast today? Uh, State Representative Don Overlander, Clarion Area Chamber of Commerce, uh, Central Electric Co-op, S&W Auto Body, Farmers Mutual Fire Insurance of Marble, Pennsylvania, and Trees and Associates of Clarion, all part of our broadcast. And to Beckwith Supply, I want to thank Beckwith taking care of the fee, the fee that we have to pay to in the game here today. Uh, very generous of him to do that so that we give this game to you for free today. We'll take a time out. We'll come back. Players to watch this one. Governor's Keys, they're all on the way, and it's going to be a good one here this afternoon. Strattonville, Bishop Canavan, again, in Limestone. It's the Laurel Eye Clinic. Boys, Billy, first round playoffs presented by Beckwith Y on the EYT Media Network. Dubrook, a division of M&B Group, is your trusted local ready-mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete, as well as concrete supplies, along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Call 1-844-382-7665. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Du Bois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. that needs cleaning up. A legend stands tall. John Deere compact tractors from Land Pro Equipment. With a get it done attitude, they're always ready to take care of business. And it's equipped to take on anything, so they never back down from the dirty work, making your world a more beautiful place. We're making room for our 2023 model, so take advantage of our model year 22 compact tractor sale now. Stop in or build your own at LandProEquipment.com. Clarion Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perkins. Road in Clarion. Call us toll free at 1 800 262 2118. Hey, Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply, and yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta, and yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave, you've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there. Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to Tio Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know. 
Tyanesta Builders. Tyanesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center, family owned and operated since 1958, with locations in Tyanesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tyanestabuilders.us. Zocro Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zockerel Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer, and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zockerel Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZockerelMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zockerel Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64 Interstate 80 in Clarion. I believe that no one can deliver someone's health care better than their primary care doctor that knows them best. I can choose to refer my patients anywhere, but I send them to Butler because I know they can get incredible care there. And that's why my entire team and I trust them with our family's care and even our own. So why would I send them anywhere else? Choose the place where exceptional care meets genuine caring. Choose Butler Health System. All right, back here at Clary and Limestone. Carly Tire pregame show. <clears throat> and uh, Laurel Lye Clinic, uh, district uh, and state playoff basketball, presented today by Beckwith Supply. And uh, we're going to take a look at the Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, some of the players to watch in this one. And had a chance to talk to uh, some of the guys down on the Bishop Canavan Crusaders bench, and then we were talking a little bit about, you know, who we could expect to start. And we also know from stats and things like that, this is a team coming in at 20 and 6, Bob, out of the Whippeal, the four seed. Um, this is a team that can play. They are loaded. Um, and uh, Clarion Limestone, of course, will have their hands full today with uh, this team. They can run, they can shoot. Uh, Champagne kind of leads the charge uh, for this team. That is Shea Champagne. And uh, he has a whole cast of characters behind him as well. He certainly does, but let's take a look at Shea a little closer. Once that jumps out, 30 points. Plus a game, and you know that that says enough right there. The reality is uh, that guy can lock game fire. He is consistent from just about anywhere on the court. Certainly has the ability to light it up, but you can't focus on him. Multiple players, of course, to be concerned about as well. And of course, this team, one of the larger benches actually that you'll see playing. Uh, kind of surprising just to see just how many guys were there on the roster, Michael. There's a lot of depth. We were kind of talking a little bit off the air about this because the gym's going to get a little warmer as this game unfolds because it's going to be a capacity crowd when it's all said and done with. So certainly you're going to need some fresh legs out there. Yeah, one thing, too, when you look at Clary and Limestone, we've seen them all season long. They are the District 9 champion, 23-2 and two are the Lions. And, uh, you know, they had to go through a tough uh, road, too, when they lost uh, Jace Ferguson for a little while. That was uh, right there, right at the beginning of the KSAC championships. And then, um, into that first round or so in the District 9 playoffs. But he's come back and certainly uh, been a spark for them. He's kind of like that, you know, he's a quarterback in football, does the same thing on the court here. But what a supporting cast <clears throat> of Hesden Painter, Klingen, Smith, and Callen. But they also have Craig that comes off the bench. Um, they have uh, Rankin that comes off the bench. They have a lot of guys, too, a nice compliment to rest some of those guys up as well. Mike, when we go back to the district championship all game, I think you can really – find a lot out about a team. This is a team that had 18 points off of the bench. Each guy came out, played a role, took care of what their given responsibility was. And, and again, it was a total team effort. And that's why they're here. You know, top to bottom, you had guys step up whenever they had to. Some guys shifted you know, basically what their role was and what they were supposed to do, but they realized that. And, and it was a relatively seamless transition. Now, of course, obviously they were happy to have Chase back, but, but by the same token, Mike, you know, they were able to adjust when they had to. They took care of business when they had to. And there's a reason why they're a district champion and they're playing today. All right, those are our Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Some of the players to watch the information about these two teams. And we'll take another time out. We'll come back. We'll have the governor's keys on the way. We'll get you set up for more of this contest as we continue here. It's Laurel Line Clinic 
uh, playoff basketball. It's uh, PIAA Boys AA First Round Playoffs, and it is presented today by Beckwith Supply, and it's right here on the EYT Media Network. Owners and operators, if your business depends on your truck, then we've got you covered. From simple oil changes to complete engine rebuilds, Bauer Truck Repair has the tools and the know-how to get the job done. We also offer 24-hour roadside assistance anywhere, anytime, any weather. Our techs are ready to get your truck fixed and back on the road. We even offer towing and load transfer services. At Bauer Truck Repair, we understand that every minute and every dollar counts, so trust your business with our business. Bauer Truck Repair, located off Exit 60 in Chippenville, you can also find Find us online at BauerTruckRepair.com or call us at 814-226-6023. That's 814-226-6023. Oaks Building Supply is dedicated to providing quality building products to the community. You will always find what you need for your home improvement project and get great advice on how to do the job at Oaks Building Supply. Customer satisfaction is a top priority. Oaks Building Supply, for all your building and lumber supply needs. Located on Route 66 in Lucinda. biggest risk to your future could be running out of money during a longer than expected retirement. Many people have not yet taken the time to determine if they will have enough assets to last throughout retirement. Our Retirement Income Evaluator can help you develop a roadmap and actual recommendations. To learn more, stop by our office located at 162 South 2nd Avenue in Clarion. Give us a call at 223-9990 or visit JennyClarion.com. Jenny Montgomery Scott, LLC, member NYSE, FINRA, and SIP. Best of luck to all our area basketball teams from your one-stop car, truck, and SUV dealer, Clarion Ford Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Visit us on Main Street in Clarion or start online at clarionauto.com. Back here at Clarion Limestone High School, Laurel Lake Clinic Boys AA first round playoffs here on EYT. Today it's presented by Beckwith Supply. I want to thank Nate, Nate to Beckwith for taking care of the fee to bring the game for free to all of you out there. Bishop Canavan here against Clarion Limestone today. And Bob, we look at some of the keys to the game today. You know CL well. You've looked at some of the stats when it comes to Bishop Canavan. Uh, what do you think uh, each team needs to do to come out with a win here today? Well, I think obviously for Bishop Canavan, they need to come out. Michael, first get a flow, get the feel of this court. It's a little bit smaller court than I think what they've become accustomed to. Typically, uh, most of the season, they're going to play a little bit larger court. You've got to get the feel of it, get your depth perception down. I think also shake off the effects of the longer bus ride coming up here. I think the reality is they're going to want to rotate, try and keep some fresh bodies in. Look, they've had the opportunity to take a look at the tape. They're well aware that Clarion Limestone will be sending fresh bodies in throughout the course of the game. So they're going to rotate a few more players and perhaps maybe even than what they would normally do so. But they're going to want to get a little feel. I think they want to dictate control of the flow of the basketball game. Anytime you have a team uh, that is equipped like they are, you Can't want to be in that driver's seat and take care of business. Anytime you have the opportunity. Now, Clary Limestone, look, the reality is everybody wants to talk about uh, Shea Champagne, and the reality is this is a guy who does have a ton of success, but it is critical not to lose sight of the other four guys on the court at all times. Oftentimes, you tend to focus on that marquee stat guy, and you can get burnt by that. So I don't think we're going to see the Lions do that. I think they're going to focus on everybody. Sure, they're going to be well aware of where he's at, try and limit his opportunities. And certainly, they cannot afford to turn the ball over. Mike, anytime they do make turnovers, they're going to have to take full advantage of it. One thing I did notice in watching uh, just a little bit of tape, this is a team that is very aggressive defensively, so the Lions will have to protect the ball because you're going to see – uh, Bishop Canavan probably trying to manufacture some turnovers, especially as the game wears on. Players maybe get a little tired. All right, and uh, that is the Governor's Keys to the game. Those are brought to you by Gatesman's Auto Body. We'll take one more time out. We're going to come back. We will have team introductions, starting lineups, and a whole lot more for you from Clarion Limestone. Don't go away, folks. 
Going to be a great one this afternoon. Bishop Canavan gets set to take on Clarion Limestone. Laurel Lye Clinic Boys playoff action presented by Beck with Supply. It's right here on the EYT Media Network. Back here at Clarion Limestone. We're getting ready for the National Anthem. National Anthem by Tate Allison. Tate Allison, here we go. This is great. job and we're going to turn it over to Brad Fraser athletic director here at Clarion Limestone High School for the starting lineups here they're the Jenny Montgomery Scott starting lineups we'll have those coming up and again even here Bob even here Brad has to scold the crowd because of things you've done in the past don't believe a word Michael has to say and the act of disrespect will result in removal from the facility. See? Behave. At this time, let's meet the starting line. First for the Crusaders. The Crusaders will coach Tim McCall, assisted by Kate Gannon, Mike Sherry, and Manny McCall. We have a senior, number zero, Gio Dufran. McConnell's the coach. We have a senior, number two, Shane Shanghai. Starting lineups. Brad Fraser doing a fantastic job down there. <clears throat> so again, it'll line up uh, Baron, DeFrank, Champagne, Vaughn, and Cross. And Ferguson, Hesden, Painter, Klingensmith, and Callen for the Lions. Lionel 
Team meeting there at the center part of the court. And we're just about ready to go. Getting set for the tip off. Good veteran crew on hand here. Out of District 9 today. A yeah, great opportunity, of course. You know, for so many years, Michael, we'd have to travel usually somewhere for an opening round type game like this. Great opportunity for teams to host it. Congratulations. If you just join us, congratulations. Go out to the Red Bank Lady Bulldogs for a big win last night, as well as Union. For Union, a very historic win. First state playoff win in 49 years. Dustin Kiefer was 10 years old the last time they won a game. Champagne gets set to go head nose to nose with Painter at the center circle. We're just about ready to go. Here's the tip. It's controlled by the Lions. Ferguson will bring it across the timeline. Again, today's uh, Laurel Eye Clinic basketball presented by Beckwith Supply. Want to thank Nate Beckwith. Driving wide open to the hoop. There's Clinton Smith with the shots off the mark. Rebound by Champagne. A good opportunity. The defense really opening wide open for him. He can get the shot to fall. Ball to the right side to Frank. Back up top. Goes to Cross. Cross left side. Shot taken by Bond. Trey on the way. And that's a deep three-pointer. Shot taken from Interstate 80. One thing you didn't have to question whether or not that truly was a three-pointer. Clayton Smith works it to Painter. Hesden now looks for a seam. Hesden's going to be fouled. I think they're going to get to Frank. A little bit of a push there. Nice patience there by the Lions. Sometimes when you see a three hit like that that deep, you come down, you feel you've got to try the same thing. They're displaying a lot of patience by not doing that. And after hurry and get Still it hurry, in. There's five. Gets it across. It's fine. Here's Clegan Smith. Clegan Smith kicks it back to Hesden. Hesden drives and it opens right up, and Hesden gets the basket. It's a 3 2 ball game. A nice job by Hesden taking his time, waiting for the play to develop, the lane to open up. Vaughn up top. Cross right side, back up top. Jim Pine in the paint, dishes it off. Shot is good by Cross. Good assist by Champagne to Cross. Vaughn with the three points, Cross with two to account for five total points for Bishop Canavan. Lincoln Smith holds. Now Hesden dumps it in, but the ball's going to be tipped away, taken by Vaughn. Vaughn kicks out a ball ahead to Champagne. Champagne scoop shot, no good. Way! Great job by Hesden. To interrupt Champagne, we go to the other end. On the other end, Clayton Smith, though, as the lane opens like the Red Sea, and it's 5-4. Quickly on the other end, what a game. I'll tell you what, back and forth we go. Foul's going to be rung up, and up to the line to shoot here will be Vaughn. Yeah, you expect an up-tempo ball game. We're seeing exactly what we expected. Hesden's going to get called for the foul here. At the line is Michael Vaughn. He's got three in the ball game. Shot is up and good. Used a lot of the real estate there to make the shot. Falls through. This next shot is up. It's the front of the iron. Rebound controlled by Ferguson. Ferguson pushing it up the court. Kicks it right side. Trey on the way by Klingon Smith. Rattles the cage. Doesn't go. Ball tip. Painter gets it. Painter kicks it back out, but stolen. That is uh, DeFrank, kicks it ahead. Here's Champagne, shot good by Champagne. And it's 8-4 in favor of Bishop Canavan. Actually, uh, the shot falls. That's actually a really smart play defensively because if you commit the foul there, the shot's still going to fall. You send him to the line for a chance to go fashion three. Here's Hesden, fakes, kicks it out to Ferguson. Back up top, man-to-man -man defense here by the Crusaders. Hesden looks for that scene, can't find it. Dishes off to Painter, but he steps out of bounds. Yeah, Painter runs out of real estate. And that man defense forcing him out. Might show a little bit of token pressure. Back off easily here on the inbound. DeFranco will work it across the timeline. 5.15 to go here in this first quarter. Vaughn. Tried to pass it in. Good job by Hesden hustling, but tips it out of bounds. Stays Crusader ball. So fast, he jumped out of his shoe. <laughs> the stoppage of play to get the shoe back on. Now 
Oftentimes you'll hear me say, come on out, there's plenty of space available. This isn't one of those. Nope. Limited space available, but not plenty, that's for sure. Ball into Vaughn. Vaughn drives on the baseline. Tried to kick it back out, but a foul's going to be called. They'll either get Ferguson here or Painter. I'm not sure who got their hand in there first. We'll see. And it's going to go against uh, Jace Ferguson. And you got both defenders in the area. Official, he's on top of it. For him, it was an easy call. Vaughn. Right in, up top cross, driving, shot, good by cross. It's 10-4, good buddy, in favor of Bishop Canada. Had to get it in. I knew as soon as the score flashed up 10-4, I knew what was coming. Ball left side to Painter. Painter fakes drives. Callan, Ferguson, back into Callan. Megan Smith has been driving on the baseline. Has then get stopped. And then tosses that ball out of bounds. Bishop Canavan gets it on the turnover here, 4 34 to go here in the first. Yeah, very good defense being displayed early on here by Bishop Canavan. Mike forced that errant throw. Rankin and Craig will check in here for the Lions. It's the next step there, or it is a uh, Kale's Kitchen's first quarter here on the EYT Media Network. Ball comes into Barron. To Frank, back up top to Barron. Cross driving, puts up the shot, it's off the mark. Partially blocked, goes out of bounds. It's gonna be last touch there by Bishop Canavan. Lions get it. Defensively, the Lions have done a pretty solid job here. You trail 10 to four. Offensively, their looks have been limited. Ball to the corner, shot by Ferguson. Three's off the mark. Foul's gonna be called on Craig coming over the back. That'll be number three here against the Lions. Just a little too much contact out of Craig on that one. Ball inbounded, controlled by Champagne. Champagne with the ball, takes the, dumps it down, and uh, that is uh, Barron has the ball knocked away. Here comes Ferguson. Ferguson, one hand pass out to Painter, back up top to Ferguson. And they'll get the offense set up again. Not a problem, don't force the shot, be a little selective. Painter dumps it off to Rankin, Rankin shot, no good, but he's gonna be fouled. They're gonna get cross on the foul, and up to the line goes Rankin to shoot two. I wanna thank Northwest Pennsylvania Regional College on these free throws. First opportunity from the free throw line this afternoon for these Lions. Rankin at the line. Bends the knees, releases. Shot's good. Smith coming in, Klingen Smith in. Take the place of uh, Painter and Ferguson. Again, like the decision making process here by the line coaching staff. Want to keep fresh legs out there. Shot is up, bang and deep. Taken away by Cross on the rebound. Cross will get the break started. 10-5 the score, the Lions down. Crusaders work the ball, right side to DeFrank. Dumps it in, Champagne, kicks it out to the corner, shot by Barron, it's off the mark, but there's Champagne, basket good. Champagne will go to the line for the old time, three point play. Champagne, that's point number four, looking to make it point number five with this shot. It's the line here, 10-5 ball game. Or excuse me, 12-5. She'll be 12, yeah. 12-5 ball game. Callan checks in, Ferguson back in for the Lions. Champagne, takes his time, releases, his shot is up and nothing but net, money in the bank. Five points for Shea. Here's Craig working the ball for the Lions. They trail now by eight. Ball to Craig. Craig hands it to Ferguson. Bounce pass, shot taken. Klingensmith, three-pointer, nails it on the right side. There's an Eric Schick agency three-pointer. That is a huge shot. This squad really needed a big shot in the arm. Klingensmith now with five. Cross across the timeline, into the lane. Cross takes it up strong, basket good. What a drive by Cross that time. Excellent ball handling skills there. 
Two and a half to go here in the quarter. Here's Ferguson. Ball up top to Smith. Clegan Smith kicks it out. Craig fakes. Craig spinning. Craig to Callen. And back to Ferguson. We'll get things set up again. And defense has been very solid today for Bishop Canavan. Callen in the lane. Puts up the shot. Good by Callen. Great job inside. His first points in the ball game. 15-10. Kim Pine with the basketball. Takes that deep three-pointer. It's off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound by Callen. Here's Ferguson. Clegan Smith, they're running that weave. Find uh, Craig, his shot off the mark, but the offensive foul is called on Craig. Great job that time defensively by Bond to take the charge. But boy, give Craig credit. He was taking it right to the hole that time. Yeah, that's a tough call to go against. It looks like you as the offensive player, you're going to have a great shot, increase the percentage, get that shot to fall. And good solid defense prevents the bucket. Minute 34 to go here in this first quarter. It's a Kale's Kitchen's first. Jim Pine with the basketball. Right side, finds the seam. It's going to be blocked by Craig from behind. Here comes Ferguson. Ferguson in the lane. Jump stop, lost that ball, gets it back. Behind the back pass, Painter shot on the way. No good. Oh, if he would have nailed that one, you would have heard the crowd go nuts. Yeah, no question about that. That pass was a thing of beauty. Too bad we couldn't have a replay on it, but too much action here. Jim Pine in the lane, misses that shot. Craig comes out with the rebound. The ball kicked ahead to Klingensmith. Here's Klingensmith stop. Let the defense go by and gets the basket to go, and we've got a three-point ball game. Quickly on the other end, stolen by Painter. Here's Painter. Opposite side, Clinton Smith, three on the way. Good, and we're tied at 15. Wow. You talk about action. Talk about a crowd getting fired up. Ball left side, shot on the way, and it's good on the other side by Vaughn. The exchange of three-pointers. Sit on this one for the last shot. Doesn't matter, two or three. Do not launch this unless something is wide, wide open. You only trail by three here. That's exactly what they're going to do. Milk that clock. Down to ten. Painter driving. Painter loses the ball to bounds, and it goes to Bishop Canavan. Tough break, tough break there. Canavan, 6.3 in a clock. A lot of teams may be challenged by that clock, but Bishop Canavan will not be. They've already got something on the way. Barron driving. Champagne. Jim Pine shot, no good, puts back, no good, but the foul's going to be called. Goes against Bishop Canavan with, with .2 seconds. .2, wow, what a tough time to have a foul call. You're not going to get anything here. That's a second on cross. Ball comes in, buzzer sounds, and that's where we're at as we go to quarter number two. 18-15, Bishop Canavan leads Clarion Limestone, and you're watching Laurel Eye Clinic Boys. First round disc, uh, play, uh, state playoffs is all presented by Beckwith Supply on the EYT Media Network. Our focus has always been on you at Clarion County Community Bank. So let's talk about your needs of today and your plans for tomorrow. Let's talk if you're looking to update your home, expand your business, finance equipment, or establish a line of credit. Let's talk about making your dreams a reality at any one of our four locations in Clarion, New Bethlehem, Reimersburg, and Franklin. Clarion County Community Bank. There is a difference. With so much to protect each day, Eric Schick Insurance and Financial Services is here to help you find the right coverage that fits your life. Call 814-275-2210 to learn more. All right, back here at Clarion Limestone High School. EYT Media Network, Laurel Eye Clinic High School Basketball, presented today by Beckwith Supply. Into the first quarter, we go to quarter number two, 18-15. Boy, that was a fun one to get things started here. We knew it was going to be good, Governor. Well, you've got two good teams on the court. You're not going to see really much of anything less. I mean, these teams both have time, both play good defense, both rotate players in. A lot of fun to watch. Frank works the ball here to Barron. 
Barron gives it to Champagne, kicks it out to the corner, back up top it goes. Vaughn, three-pointer off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound, Klingen Smith. Klingen Smith lost it right to Champagne, and Champagne goes for the two-hand jam. Ball knocked away, out of bounds, and it stays. Clarion limestone ball. They're going to say it goes off of DeFrank. And just good quality defense, manufactures the turnover, they get points off of it. Now a five-point lead once again. Ball right side to Painter. Lincoln Smith. Ferguson. Down to the corner. Shot taken by Callen. How about that one? See, I believe, is that just a two? It is just a two-pointer just inside the arch. Keeps it a three-point ball game. Champagne, deep three-pointer, nails it. 23-17. Nine points so far for <clears throat> Champagne. You see he is the real deal. Obviously, he comes in averaging over 30 points a ball game. You see why. Rankin, back to Klingon Smith. We'll work the ball top here. Here's Painter. He'll take the three-pointer on the other end. And Painter nails the Eric Schick Agency three-pointer. Quickly, down the court, here come the Crusaders. Ball to the baseline, to Frank. Takes that shot, three-pointer on the way. No good, into the hands of Ferguson. Ferguson pushes it. Ferguson stops, pops the shot just inside the arch. No good. Rebound, Callen. Put back Callen, and that's good. And it's a one-point ball game. Champagne takes the three again. And again, automatic from that top of the key, 26-22. Rankin into the paint. Foul's going to be called. Might get Barron on this one. We'll see. It'd be just the fourth foul. It is on Barron. Borden here, got to get points just from the psychological standpoint, Mike. Ball in, tipped away, taken by Cross. Here's Cross. Lost the ball, picks it up, dumps it down into the paint. Shot by Champagne is good, and he's fouled, and Champagne to the line again for another three-point play. Well, he can do it from the court. He can do it the old-fashioned way. It's a chance now. At that old-fashioned way. Currently a six-point lead, looking to make it seven. Craig will check in for Painter for the Lions. Shots deep and no good. Two-possession game, six-point lead here for Bishop Canavan. Smith. And he's going to travel. So the turnover gives it right back to Bishop Canavan. Commits the travel, and again, the, the defense is forcing that. Painter comes right back in for Smith. Do you have a Zucker Motors update, Mike? Clarion is trailing Union of Newcastle 17 to 1. Ooh. Are they playing that in Rymersburg? <laughs> I knew you'd go there. You're, you're getting predictable, partner. Yep. Here's Champagne driving, kicks it up top. Shot taken by Cross on the way, three-pointer, banks it home, eight-ball corner pocket. Nine-point lead now for Bishop Canov, and the ball tipped and then goes out of bounds. It'll stay lion ball. Mike for Cross, that was point number 12. He's got 12. Champagne has 15. Ball comes into Craig. <clears throat> Ferguson controls. Ferguson works it back up top to Callum. Now Painter. You really got to get points here. Craig has the ball tipped away. Champagne has it. Champagne is going to go for the two hand jam again. Reminds me of you in high school, Bob, when you used to get up above the rim and just pull it right down. 
And we'll have the timeout taken here by the Lions. They're down by 11, 4.29 to go. Here in quarter number two, we'll time out as well. And you're watching Laurel Line Clinic. Boys, double-A first round playoffs presented by Beckwith Supply right here on EYT. Brookville Equipment Corporation is a leading American manufacturer of locomotive, streetcar, and mining machinery. For over 100 years, Brookville has been a world-class manufacturer with innovation, quality engineering, product safety, and expert American craftsmanship. Every piece of equipment is designed and built entirely in our facility in Brookville, Pennsylvania. Join our team. Brookville is a family-owned business. We offer competitive wages, opportunities for growth, and outstanding benefits. Click the Now Hiring button on our website at brookvillecorp.com for current openings. All right, welcome back to Clarion Limestone here in Strattonville. 33-22, the score 429 to go in the second. Bishop Canavan leads. So next step therapy second. Next step therapy taking advantage of some turnovers by the Lions there to get that lead. Bishop Canavan, Mike, their team that's going to manufacture the turnovers. They're going to get points off those turnovers. You have to limit those opportunities for them. Ball to Painter. Fakes, drives, and the block is going to be called. I think it was that to Frank that was guarding them. Louis Panza checking in here for Bishop Canavan, number 10. 11 point deficit. You cannot let it get any larger than that. It's going to be a tough battle to get back in. Painter, three on the way, and Painter nails that one. That's a big shot. That is a huge shot. <clears throat> Knocks that lead back to eight. Six points to the ball game out of Alex Painter. Panza up top to cross to the right side. DeFrank has it tipped. Shot taken by Panza and nails it. Three-pointer, 36-25. Mike, they have made six. Bishop Canavan has made six three-pointers in the ball game. The Lions have made four. That'd be ten in the game for both of them. I was impressed. You only had to take one shoe off. That's right. Here's uh, Painter. Picks it back out to Ferguson. Ferguson jump stop out to Craig. At that time, Craig just extended the legs just a little too far, and he's going to travel. He had to extend because Panza actually was guarding him defensively. This is one of those things that, that occurs. Again, it's good defense that forces the travel to be committed. Panza with the basketball. Has it ripped away by Ferguson. Ferguson on the other end. Layup, no good. Rebound by Craig. Foul's going to be called. It might get Panza, I think, on this one. Yep, the foul will be on the floor. No, they're going to say, I think they might get Vaughn. They do. That's Vaughn's first, team sixth. Walk is in deep to Painter. Ferguson works it in the corner. Has been driving, and it opened right up. Has been shots off the mark. I think he was shocked it was that wide open was the issue there. Here's the ball quickly down to Frank. Brings it back out. That's Cross. Finds Vaughn. Now Champagne. Boy, he was thinking about it. <laughs> he thought better of it after realizing where his teammates were at. Champagne shot from the left elbow. In and out, no good. Rebound ripped down by Callum. Craig, three-pointer on the way. In and out, no good. Rebound put back by Ferguson is. <laughs> Quickly, here comes Champagne down the court. Behind the back, puts up the shot. Foul's going to be called on Hesden. Yeah, the good news there is, again, if you commit the foul, make sure that ball does not go in. So Champagne at the line. So they're going to give him the two shots here. That is the third foul on Hesden. Shot is up and good. Bishop Canavan as a team is three of five from the free throw line. Big difference in this one, they've hit six three-pointers. Wanted to make sure DeFrank was tying the shoe. The official wanted to make sure all the equipment was good. <clears throat> My coach would have ripped me out of the game. He said, what are you doing? Shoe's got to be tied all the time. Shot is up, and that's good. Money in the bank. 
215 to go here in the quarter. The Lions trail by 11. Smith to Painter. Klingen Smith. Playing some pitch up top. Here's Ferguson. Hoping this defense is going to break down or Lane will open up. Klingen Smith, three on the way, and Klingen Smith nails a big three pointer on the right side. <coughs> Lions down by eight. Klingen Smith with 13 so far. Champagne. Ball lost. The foul's going to be called. Um, does it go against the Lions? Yes, it will be against Clarion Limestone. It's going to go against Smith, I believe, and up to the line will be Cross to shoot to. One on one, actually. One on one. <coughs> Shots up and good. Uses the glass, gets the ball. Cross likes that bang shot. No hey. matter where he's at. But hey, you it's know smooth. What? It works. And Cross, he's got. 13 with that shot. Next shot is up and deep. No good. Rebound controlled by Callum. Nine point lead, three possession game. Here's Painter. Painter, the foul is going to be called here on Vaughn. I'm going to send Painter to the line for the one and one. Didn't want to thank. Northwest Regional, Pennsylvania Northwest Regional College for their sponsorship here on EYT. Painter's got six points the ball game. Callum will check in. Ferguson will exit here at the 120 mark. Shot is up and deep. Ball kicked ahead to Champagne. Champagne in the lane, puts it up strong, and right over the front of the rim gets it to go. Bishop Canavans leads back to 11. Lincoln Smith puts up the shot, partially blocked. Ball tipped. Panza sends it ahead to DeFrank. DeFrank on the other end with the easy layup. 43-30. DeFrank his first points of the ball game. Painter up top to Callen. Callen kicks it to Klingen Smith. Three on the way. Klingen Smith is hot on the right side. Leads back to 10. Klingen Smith, 16 points the ball game. 28 seconds. We'll see what Bishop Canavan decides to do. That is the sixth three pointer in the ball game made by the Lions. Each team making six. Coach McConnell of uh, Bishop Canavan shouting out roll, uh, directions. Champagne dumps it in. Kick back out. Shot on the way. It's off the side of the rim. No good. And the foul will be called on the rebound. That's going to go on uh, Marion. Six seconds. The game of chess. Continues here. Ferguson will check back in. Painter wigs the ball game. Lopez checks in. The Zocker Motors update it is Aliquip up 16 to 4 over Carn City. End of one. Shot by Callen is up, and that's good. Money in the bank with that shot. Gives Callen seven points in the ball game. Bends the knees, releases, shots good. Six point nine seconds leads nine. Champagne. Three seconds in the lane, dumps it off. DeFrank has it knocked out of bounds, and at the buzzer it was going to be Bishop Canavan ball, but they lead it here, 43-35. As we go to halftime, First United National Bank halftime show, 
is coming up. We'll have the scoring summary updates and everything else for you coming your way. 43-35, Bishop Canavan leads Clarion Limestone here at halftime. It's Laurel Eye Clinic, PIAA Boys, AA First Round Playoffs. Today is presented by Beckwith Supply, and it's right here on the EYT Media Network. Attention, attention, Beverage Hair Victory in Brookville is hiring. If you're looking for a great place to work with a good starting wage and advancement opportunities, this may be the place for you. We have immediate openings for all shifts, including part-time and weekends. Beverage Hair Victory has a generous benefits package, including 401k and paid time off. No experience necessary. We will train you. Have experience? We will pay you more. Come join our team by applying online at beverage-air.com. Locally owned and operated, Hager Paving of Strattonville provides a range of services. Hot mix asphalt, cold patch asphalt, tar and chipping, and seal coating. Hager Paving's reputation in business is based on customer service, referrals, and your satisfaction. Serving residential, commercial, industrial, and local municipalities throughout western Pennsylvania. Exceptional service, exceptional quality. That's Hager Paving of Strattonville. Call 814-764-5080. That's 814-764-5080 for Hager Paving. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. How cold it is outside, you can keep warm and toasty inside with a built-in-the-USA super-efficient furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Affordable, quiet, and reliable, you can count on your furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Hi, my name is Jason, and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. Bank Chevrolet, the area's number one Chevrolet dealer and Clarion County's truck headquarters. So if you're in the market for a new or used Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV, go to Red Bank Chevrolet, 500 Broad Street in New Bethlehem, or online redbankchevrolet.com. Skilled staff at Red Bank Chevrolet is ready to meet all of your automotive needs. If we don't see you today, we'll see you at Red Bank Chevrolet. All right, back here at uh, Clary Limestone High School. <clears throat> We're in the First United National Bank, the Fun Bank, halftime show. 43-35 is the score as Bishop Canavan leads Clary Limestone. And we'll have Bob here coming up momentarily with those Red Bank Chevrolet stats. We'll see how they stack up on both sides. So we take a look, Mike, at Shea Champagne leading the way. 21 points, 13 points on Jason Cross, four out of Michael Vaughn, two out of Gene DeFrank, and three out of Louis Panza. As a team, three of five from the, excuse me, actually five of eight from the free throw line. And they have hit six three pointers in this one. We're clearing limestone. Riley Clean Smith leads the way 16 points, eight points out of Jack Callen, six out of Alex Painter, and two each out of Jordan Hesden and Jace Ferguson. One point by Ty Rankin as well. Lions are three of five. They have also made six three pointers in this one. So three point shots evening out, but the uh, big difference is higher success percentage from the field for this Bishop Canavan squad. And again, those stats brought to you by Red Bank Chevrolet. We'll give some updates for you on the way, plus the governor's keys to the second half. They're all coming up 
We're at halftime in the first United National Bank halftime show, 43-35. Bishop Canavan leads Clary of Limestone. And you're watching Laurel Eye Clinic PIAA Boys Playoff Action today. It's presented by Beckwith Supply, and it's right here on the EYT Media Network. You can afford a gorgeous, custom-designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. Located in Parker, Emlinton, and Clarion, UFP Parker is now hiring for several skill levels, including general labor, trust assembler, and industrial assemblers. For more information, visit UFPI.com forward slash careers. West Park Rehab Physical Therapy, providing traditional physical therapy plus diagnostic testing to include EMG nerve conduction study and musculoskeletal ultrasounds. Zocral Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zocral Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zockrell Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZockrellMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zockrell Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64 Interstate 80 in Clarion. All right, back here at Clarion Limestone High School, Mike Kalinowski, Governor Bob Dunkel, Dustin Kuiper, Chase Steinman, all here today. And the Lions trail here, 43-35, as uh, we are in the first United National Bank halftime show. Bob, Governor's keys to the second half. Any changes either team needs to make here? Well, yeah, there obviously are a few. I think one of the big changes, uh, it's not, well, not necessarily a change, actually. It's just a matter of philosophies. I think if you're Bishop Kinnaman, you have to keep your foot on the accelerator. Look. You're up by eight. Don't let them in. I think also want to keep the defense a little focused. A couple of times there were some breakdowns. Some lanes opened up early on. Bishop Canavan did tighten that back up, but did allow six three-pointers in this one. Now, for Clarion Limestone, the work is really cut out for them. It is a challenge anytime you're down by eight. The biggest key is you have to secure possession. That basketball, Mike, do not turn the ball over. Uh, make sure and get back to prevent those easy transition points. So you've got your work. You're going to have to hustle. You're going to have to make high percentage shots. Every time down the court, 
you don't have to score. You also don't have to hit the three. But whatever shot you do take, you want to be be selective on it. Don't force a shot too early. Certainly follow through and come down with a few more boards, and then I'll get yourself back in the ball game. Remember, you're not going to get in the ball game. You're going to tie it up within the first two three minutes. So, obviously, play within your abilities and don't force anything. Some good things should happen. You should get back in the ball game. And those uh, keys are brought to you by Gatesman's Auto Body. That'll wrap up the first United National Bank halftime show. Go to quarter number three. It's a Dubois, a Penn State Dubois third quarter. <coughs> Do want to update the scoring summary uh, total points? Went down, double check, conferred with the book, and actually Jason Cross having 10 points and Michael Vaughn seven points here, uh, respectively. Lions will get the ball to start quarter number three. And we go to action as they work to the right side of uh, your camera. <coughs> or your picture, I should say. Ball up top to Hesden. Smith <coughs> back to Painter. And now Hesden works it. Callan. Showing a little bit of patience. There's no rush here. You're, you're down by eight. You're not going to get them all at once. Guess what? Well, you have to be selective. Foul's going to be called. They're going to get to Frank. They're going to say pushed into Hesden. <coughs> That'll be his third. So Hesden with three. DeFrank with three. Ball to the corner. Drive. Shot taken is good by Hesden. Took the baseline. Lions trail by six. Again, nice, high percentage, safe shots. Example what I was talking about. One of my keys. Be patient with that ball. Good things are going to happen to you. Champagne picks it up top. Shot taken by Barron. And Barria nails that shot. A three-pointer, his first points in the ball game. He'd been pretty adept at those today. Shot by Callen off the back of the rim, comes out. Ball handed off. Here's Champagne to Cross. Cross puts it up strong, and Cross is going to get called here for the charge. Yeah, Hesden really established the position well, sending a change of address postcard even. Fisher will call that one every time on you. Ferguson, right side, shot taken by Hesden on the way, and that is good by Hesden. Two-pointer, toes were just on that line on that right side. And great example, doesn't matter whether it's two or three, take the shot that's there. Champagne back off, long three-pointer that time, and here come the Lions, Callan with the rebound. Ball right to Hesden. Hesden driving, stops, puts up the shot. Let the defense go by and gets the easy shot. Lions down by five. Chipping away. Great example. Be patient. Good things are going to happen. Vaughn back to Champagne. Champagne kicks it out. Long shot on the way by Barry, and it's off the mark. The ball blocked from behind, but stolen back by Champagne. His shot is good. Changed hands about four times underneath yeah, Second, her. third opportunities, that's for sure. Shot by Hesden on the other end. Good. Great transition. Lions again trail by five. Now Bishop Cannon slowing it down just a bit. Ball stripped away. Champagne gets it back. Champagne kicks it out to DeFrank. DeFrank into the lane, puts up the runner. It's good by DeFrank. Painter, working it for the Lions. Hesden, three-pointer on the way, no good. Ball comes out, rebounded by Cross. Cross has it almost stolen by Ferguson, but it goes out of bounds. A nice pickpocket effort, almost a little too much muscle, took that much muscle to rip it free, but unable to reel the contact or reel the ball in after the contact was Ferguson. Seven-point lead here for Bishop Canavan. They let it halftime by eight. Varian up top. Underneath. Varian. 
It's back up. Vaughn out to the corner. DeFrank, baseline, kicks it up top. Cross, three-pointer on the way. Shot by Cross, no good. Rebound is by uh, Ferguson. Ferguson kicks it ahead to Painter. Painter around the defense, puts up the shot. Great move by Painter. Lions down by five. You draw it up that way. It's difficult to execute. Fantastic effort. Cross, shot in the paint, good. Took it strong to the hole. Cross now with 12. Ferguson, up top to Hesden. Hesden, driving, put up the shot. That's no good. Cross, ball changing hands, Vaughn gets it. And we're going to get a land pro possession arrow, and it will point into the direction of Bishop Canavan. I was going to ask you if you were working today, but that's over. With. Well, yeah, the sun came up, so... Very high probability I will be at work. So I could have folks just come talk to you here if they want to, John Deere. That's happened before. <laughs> I've sold a couple. There's always plenty of prospects in every building I go into. Spoken Untapped opportunities. Spoken by a true salesman. <laughs> well, my fix didn't come after do what I got to do, you know. Champagne, Panza, back to Champagne underneath. Varian, and he's going to be fouled. Marion will go to the line here to shoot two for the Crusaders. That's a tough foul there, Mike, because they're going to ring that one up on Hesden. It's number four for him. Shot is up. No good. We see that a lot with Hesden through the games we played. He He's aggressive. He gets fouls on him, and it just doesn't seem to phase him. And, you know, he... How many times have we seen him in quarter three or four with those four fouls? And we'll have to set out a few here. Shot's good. Craig in the ball game along with Smith, Klingen Smith, Rankin, and Ferguson here for the Lions. Three and a half to go. Again, a little bit of patience here. You're looking for a breakdown defensively. Ball to the corner. Shot taken by Ferguson. It's off the mark. Rebound by Champagne. Champagne takes that shot. Just on that free throw line, nails it, a 15-footer. Gives him 25 in a ball game. He's something, I'll tell you what, fantastic talent. Timeout taken by the Lions, 3.06 to go here in the third, 55-45. Bishop Canavan leads, we'll take a break. You're listening to and watching Laurel Lye Clinic play a basketball presented by Beckwith Supply on EYT. Being in a rural area doesn't have to restrict you to your learning, and I appreciate a college that is located in the area I live because they understand the demographic of their clients and their students, and they understand the challenges of this area from everything from Wi-Fi access to just accessibility. I appreciate just knowing there's access to further learning without having to drop everything and, and move closer to a college facility. Learn more at discovernprc.org. All right, back here at Clarion Limestone. 3.06 to go here in the third quarter. It's Penn State Dubois third. Lions trail by 10. Craig fakes drives. Spins back around. Craig back up top on Smith. Now Ferguson. Franken. Play some catch up top. Painter will work it. Ferguson, nice give and go, but Ferguson lost the ball for a second, gets it back. Craig's going to take that left hand shot. Good. <laughs> Two and a half to go here in the third. Lions desperately needed those points. Difficult thing is you have two opponents to worry about. The clock is one, and Bishop Canavan the other opponent. Oh, and how about Ferguson? Pickpocket again. Then pickpocket back. Varian with the basketball. Champagne. Champagne kicks it over to DeFrank. He fakes. Up top, Bond shot on the way, and it is no good, but a foul's going to be called. That'll go against the Lions. It will stay Bishop Canavan basketball. Foul's going to be called on Smith as second. Yep, and again, that's just being aggressive, going after the ball. Those things will happen. 
Ball comes in deep to Champagne. Champagne shaking the bacon up top, steps back, Trey on the way. Champagne shot no good. The ball finally trickles into Ferguson's hands. Ferguson pushing it. Ferguson into the lane. Foul's going to be called. If that goes on, Marion, that'll be number four on him. It is. So both number fours have four. Thought for a second, I figured that's who they'd call on, but I thought for a second we might even see that on the Frank. Zocker Motors update, North Clarion girls trailing Berlin Brothers Valley, 35 to 10 at halftime. Clayton Smith, three, no good. Foul called. And that's going to send Clayton Smith to the line to shoot three. The foul's going to be rung up on Drew Allen, who was just in the ball game here. So Clayton Smith, not often you get these three free throws. Very seldom. We've had a couple opportunities this season to see it. Clarion area girls trailing Union of Newcastle, 38 to seven. So the shot does not go. Next opportunity, shot is up, and it's good. Money in the bank with that shot. Clayton Smith, that'll be number 17 in the ball game for him. And that shot off the mark, but Callum with a rebound. It's it up top to Painter. Painter over to Rankin. Rankin gets a great job, great ball work, great basket. Lions down by five again. Underneath wide open, there's Allen. His shot no good, but the foul is going to be called on Craig. So Allen will go to the line to shoot two here for the Crusaders. Number three on Craig. Those of you scoring at home. Shot's good. Tell you what, I like Allen. He takes his time. You watch him sight it, and you get um, 10 seconds in order to shoot that ball. So he's, he's focused. Nothing with that. Shot's good. Money in the bank. It'll be two out of Drew Allen. Seven point lead here for Bishop Canavan. Clayton Smith. Puts up the shot, banks it, doesn't go. Ball tipped out. Who's going to get it? It is Vaughn. Takes it off of Craig, and Bishop Canavan gets it. Yeah, just a tough spot to be in if you're Jack Craig. There's no real estate to work with. Good, solid defensive play out of Bishop Canavan. Ferguson checks back in here for the Lions. Ball into Champagne. <laughs> Champagne. Foul's going to be called. They're going to take it out of bounds. Foul's going to be called on Painter here. I like the call by the official, too. It started on his drive. A lot of times you see folks going, he's shooting. He's, no. it's, it's not the NBA. It's not Dustin Kiefer basketball. The continuation is just ridiculous in Kiefer ball. Ball up top, Champagne. DeFrank back to Champagne. It's a pick from Panza. No need to hurry, but pretty much going to guarantee they're not going to milk all this time off the clock. <clears throat> yep, you see Coach Ferguson come on out a little bit more, Mr. Callen. <laughs> Sam Pine. Boy, he's got some nice moves, Mike. Ball loose. Ferguson rips it away. And they're going to – oh, Wow. They're going to call the held ball. Land Pro possession arrow will give it to the Lions. Crowd not a fan of that call, but the official never hesitated. Made nope. the call. Might have been delayed a second. Either way. He was on it. Either way, the good news is if you're a Lions fan, you're getting the ball. 29.1. Seven-point lead here for the Crusaders. Unless something is wide open, Mike, sit on this ball. Sit on this ball. Don't take a chance. Has then up top, 22 seconds. Has then driving, has then shot, good! He's fouled and up to the line. Goes Hesden. 
for the three-point play try. That was the shot that opened up a high percentage. He gets that shot to fall. You have those looks, and whenever I say that phrase, sit unless something opens up, well, something did open up. Heston took full advantage of it, gets that shot to fall. And no good. Ball kicked out, but there is uh, Hesden again. And Hesden's fouled again. He'll go back to the line to go for the three-point play try. And it's a three-point ball game. Don't go anywhere. It's clock management 101. Hesden. His shot is up, it's short. And they're gonna call the travel. As the, actually, the ball went off of Allen as he was coming down. And it went out of bounds, so the Lions get it back. It's a one possession game. 13 seconds here in the third. This shot would have to be so wide open if you take it prior to eight seconds on the clock. Do not take the shot prior to eight unless it's just wide, wide, wide open. But you gotta get it in. Ball comes into Callen. Here we go. Painter down to 10. Ferguson kicks it to Hesden. Hesden with six, five, four, three, down to two, one. Shot taken at the buzzer. No good. 57 54. We go to quarter number four. Bishop Canavan still leads Clarion Limestone. And you are watching Laurel Eye Clinic PI AA Boys AA First Round Playoffs presented by Beckwith Supply here on EYT. Dubrook, a division of M&B Group, is your trusted local ready-mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete, as well as concrete supplies, along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Call 1-844-382-7665. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Du Bois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Red Bank Chevrolet, the area's number one Chevrolet dealer in Clarion County's truck headquarters. So if you're in the market for a new or used Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV, go to Red Bank Chevrolet, 500 Broad Street in New Bethlehem or online redbankchevrolet.com. Skilled staff at Red Bank Chevrolet is ready to meet all of your automotive needs. If we don't see you today, we'll see you at Red Bank Chevrolet. Welcome back. Quarter number four. The team's coming on the court. The Lions outscoring Bishop Canavan 19-14 in the third to cut the lead to three points. They've trailed throughout, but this is the uh, closest they've been since the end of the first quarter at an 18-15 mark. Fourth quarter brought to you by Dubrook here on the EYT Media Network. Want to let you know, too, we have a lot of folks listening in. After this broadcast, all of the games that we'll be bringing to you will be only through NFHS. So we want to let you know that. So if you need to get a subscription so you continue to watch these teams on the road, you want to do that coming up. Here we go. Bishop Canavan. Champagne misses it. Gets the rebound. Great hustle by Champagne. Ball up top. Panza. Panza. Kicks it up to Vaughn. Now cross, cross, Champagne. This is where each and every trip up the court gets magnified. People tend to forget what happened in the first three quarters, but they'll remember mostly what happens in this final stanza. Champagne shots off the mark, rebound Painter. Lions could tie. In the lane, Painter, he's fouled. Painter's gonna go to the line to shoot a couple here. Alex Painter has eight in the ball game. Desperately wants double digits with this trip to the free throw line. 7-12 on the clock. His shot is up and good. <laughs> Officials make sure everybody knows that they're live on this shot. It's up. Rattles in and out. Rebound controlled by Vaughn or by Cross. Champagne will work it up the court here for the Crusaders. Cross with it now. Back up to Champagne. Champagne down the right side of the lane, kicks it out. Shot by Vaughn. Three pointer on the way. And he'll drain the three pointer from the right side. 
60-55 here, Bishop Canavan. Yeah, no need to force any shots here, but you got to take high percentage ones. Lincoln Smith up top to Ferguson. Craig. Klingon Smith. Back out to Craig. They work it. Craig in the lane. Up top. Ferguson with it. Ferguson's going to be tripped. That'll send Ferguson to the line to shoot the one and one. I'm going to call that one. They're going to get on that one. Number zero. So that would be on to Frank. They're going to say 10. Panza, they're going to get Panza on this. We'll go with 10. Shot is up. And no good. Rebound controlled by Callen. Has it ripped away. Ferguson gets it back. Here's Painter driving around the defense. Basket good, and it's 60-57. Double dribble called on cross. Well, Mike, right where you want to be if you're this Lions squad. Striking distance, opportunity to tie it. Back of your head, you're thinking three all the way, but take, don't nope. be afraid. Take the two if it's there. Six minutes. The Lions are very effective, too. The Lions are very effective at taking it strong to the hoop. And a lot of times you pick up that foul, too, and that's where you want to go. Craig spins around. Craig will take the shot on the baseline. No good. Rebound by Champagne. Champagne has it tipped, though, but it's DeFrank. Over to Cross. Cross the shot. No good. That ball loose. Champagne loses it out of bounds, and it goes to the Lions. Another big opportunity here. I think we're going to see Hesden check in. We do. He will check in. Clayton Smith will exit. Rankin checks in, and I believe most likely Callum will exit. This is the game of chess you're going to see from here on out. Hesden playing with the four fouls as well as four fouls on Berrien for Bishop Canavan. Right now you're looking for offense, you're looking for ball handling skills and fresh legs. Ball handed to Hesden. Now Craig. Ferguson. Love the defense. There's been zero breakdown at all here by Bishop Canavan on this defensive Painter. coverage and responsibilities. Oh, and Craig lost it, but gets it right back. Lost it again. He's going to keep that. Hey, he picked up his dribble. Painter works it back to Ferguson. They'll get the offense reset. Clock down to 452. Has been driving. Dumps it in the paint. Lost out of bounds, and it goes to Bishop Canavan. Callen will check back in. <clears throat> Coach Ferguson, it's just like constant changes. It's the game of chess. One reason or another, he's making the changes. It also keeps Bishop Canavan having to communicate who has who, it does. which is it's, wise. It's that game of chess. And again, you're keeping fresh legs out on the court, challenging Bishop Canavan. Bishop Canavan has only used a couple of players throughout this ballgame. Marion up top to cross. Champagne backs off. Champagne into the lane and gets the runner. Nice shot by Champagne. Yeah, not much you're going to do about that one. Timeout taken by Coach McConnell for Bishop Canavan. 420 to go here in this fourth quarter. 62-57. Bishop Canavan leads. We'll break. You're watching Laurel Eye Clinic. High school basketball presented by Beckwith Supply here on the EYT Media Network. With so much to protect each day, Eric Schick Insurance and Financial Services is here to help you find the right coverage that fits your life. Call 814-275-2210 to learn more. Our focus has always been on you at Clarion County Community Bank. So let's talk about your needs of today and your plans for tomorrow. Let's talk if you're looking to update your home, expand your business, finance equipment, or establish a line of credit. Let's talk about making your dreams a reality at any one of our four locations 
in Clarion, New Bethlehem, Rymersburg, and Franklin. Clarion County Community Bank, there is a difference. All right, here we go, timeout taken. Full timeout by Coach McConnell to talk things over with his team. They lead here 62-57 over the Lions. Boys, double A, P-I, double A. Opening round of the playoffs. Bishop Canavan led 18-15 after one, 43-35 at halftime and 57-54 at the end of the third. To Dubrook, fourth quarter. Smith up top. Works it here for the Lions. Hesden. And the ball goes off of a couple lines and out of bounds. A little bit of miscommunication. The turnover gives the Crusaders the ball back. Yep. Big opportunity here for Bishop Canavan. Currently a two-possession ball game. Opportunity to extend that. Varian. Shot taken up top by Cross. No good. Rebound by Callen. Here's Ferguson pushing it. Over to Smith, it's taken away by Cross. Ahead to Champagne, and we're gonna see another jam on the other end. Two hand jam by Champagne. That's a third of the ball game for him. And the lead seven. Timeout taken by Clarion Limestone here. It is a full timeout, 3.29 to go in the fourth. The Lions trail by seven. We'll break again to Laurel Eye Clinic. High School Basketball presented by Beckwith Supply right here on EYT. Owners and operators, if your business depends on your truck, then we've got you covered. From simple oil changes to complete engine rebuilds, Bauer Truck Repair has the tools and the know-how to get the job done. We also offer 24-hour roadside assistance. Anywhere, anytime, any weather. Our techs are ready to get your truck fixed and back on the road. We even offer towing and load transfer services. At Bauer Truck Repair, we understand that every minute and every dollar counts. So trust your business with our business. Bauer Truck Repair, located off Exit 60 in Chippenville. You can also find Find us online at BauerTruckRepair.com or call us at 814-226-6023. That's 814-226-6023. Located in Parker, Emlinton, and Clarion, UFP Parker is now hiring for several skill levels, including general labor, trust assembler, and industrial assemblers. For more information, visit UFPI.com forward slash careers. There you go, folks, the infamous Gus, Gus, Gus Simpson down there. And, of course, Gus has been a part of all of our broadcasts, whether it's college, high school, or whatever. <laughs> Girls basketball coach here at Clarion Limestone, great guy altogether. Well, somewhat. Oh, he is fantastic, wonderful for the program over here. Here we go, Lions trail by seven, 3.20 to go in this one. Need points desperately. Painter. You can see Bishop Canavan has stepped up that defense a bit. Here's you, Hesden. You can see, Mike, they've been in this position before. Ball up top. Here's Craig. Back to Hesden. Hesden driving. Kicks it out to Painter. Painter in the lane. Jump stop. Scoop shot. No good. Ball rebounded by Hesden. Hesden rejected that time by Champagne. But the Lions keep the ball. Excellent job defensively by Bishop Canavan, Mike. No breakdowns or responsibilities. They're clogging the lanes, the blocking shots. Got to do a little house cleaning right now. See, this is where they need the sweeper crews. That would, you know, we missed that. That's what uh, Andrew Kiefer could do. We could make him the sweeper guy for games. That's just a very valuable individual. No He'd question be good. about it. He would be good. I hear he cleans up at home all the time, makes sure things are neat and tidy. Said for years he's has hands full. 64-57, Bishop Canavan leading the Lions. Lions with the ball, here we go. Ferguson driving, stops, pops the shot in the paint, good. Got it to go. Lions trail by five. Cross. The key here is cannot have a defensive breakdown. Champagne, well, I'll tell you what, so used to being an official two calling to carry. I could say on both sides, but that ball stays up there so long. I'm waiting maybe to see that call start to come in as they're dribbling. 
Champagne controls. Now Vaughn. DeFrank. Finds cross and now Champagne again. Gonna have to start and think about fouling because you've got a lot to give. But the clock's not on your side. Only committed 14 fouls. Foul's gonna be rung up on Ferguson. You can hear Coach Ferguson too saying, you know, he wanted that foul. It's only number five. They still have a couple more to go. With the Zocker Motors update, current city season comes to an end, Michael. They dropped 65 to 33, drop that ball game. Calaquipa, we got a timeout on the court. It's a quick so one. We're going to keep 30. it here yeah, for this 30. I saw Dustin. I wanted to hurry up before he went to the break. So want to let folks know one more time, too, in this uh, ball game, we're going to have more updates for you. <coughs> but after this ball game, any of the games that we're going to cover with the teams that are remaining in our conference, those will all be on NFHS. So we will produce them, but they will be all through NFHS. So you will have to get a subscription in order to watch. Yeah, that's a tough, uh, tough spot to be in right now. If <coughs> you're Clarion Limestone, Mike, you're down by five. You got to give a few more fouls. It's got to happen quick. So now this game of chess again with which players can give the fouls, which can't. I don't mean Hesden will come out because he's got those four fouls. Lopez checks in. Or Lutz, excuse me. Lutz checks in. Oh, wow. On the end, it went right to Champagne, and he gets the basket. Lions on the other end. Fake kicks it out. Shot taken by Lutz on the right side. Good. Nice job by Lutz. Seven-point lead for Bishop Canavan. Pressure put on. Stolen by Ferguson, and the foul will be rung up on Vaughn. That'll send Ferguson to the line to shoot the one-and-one. One. Lions trail by five. They're all a huge partner from here on out. They've been huge this entire fourth quarter. Five-point deficit at the line is Chase Ferguson, who has four in the ball game. He takes a deep breath and a little bit of a sigh. Bends Denise, releases, good. Money in the bank. Five in a ball game out of Jace Ferguson. That was Vaughn's fourth foul, too, just for the record. Shot is up and good. One possession ball game. Lions put full court press on. Champagne. Kicks the ball ahead to Frank. Ball to cross. Going to have to commit that foul soon. And a timeout taken. See if this is a full. It is a full timeout. A minute 20 to go here in this one. 66-63. Bishop Canavan leads. We'll break. You're watching Laurel Eye Clinic High School Basketball powered by Beckwith Supply today on the EYT Media Network. Both teams make their way back onto the court after the timeout here in this Dubrook fourth quarter. Three-point lead for Bishop Canavan with a minute 20 to go. Lions still with two fouls to give, though, before the one-on-one. They're going to want to get these quickly. Get them quickly. Give yourself some time to work. Oh, how about the steal? It's stolen right back. Champagne underneath. And Berrien gets the shot to go. 68-63. Still a five-point lead. Two-possession game. Minute seven. Ferguson, timeout taken, full timeout by the Lions. And we are breaking again. We'll be right back with more minute one to go here in the ball game. Five-point lead for Bishop Canavan in his Laurel Eye Clinic basketball presented by Beckwith Supply on EYT. 
Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. No matter how cold it is outside, you can keep warm and toasty inside with a built-in-the-USA super-efficient furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Affordable, quiet, and reliable. You can count on your furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Hi, my name is Jason, and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. Back to Clarion Limestone. That is Brad Fraser down there, the uh, one of the athletic directors here at Clarion Limestone High School. Did a great job helping us get set up today. Do thank them a lot. And here we go. Minute one to go here in this one. Lions trail by five. They have the ball. Had trouble getting it in, and they get this one in just in time. And the painter. Here's Ferguson. Lions don't have a lot of time here. Clayton Smith shot from the right side is no good. Rebound. Hesden put back. That's no good. Ball tipped out. There's Hesden again. Gets it to go. That was Clayton Smith actually. Got that shot to go. Lions trail by three. Full court pressure. Ball into Champagne. Champagne is going to be fouled. They're going to get Painter. That's only foul number six. That's a good foul. You can't let time roll off the clock. They'll send him to the line on the next one. 68-65, don't go anywhere. Ball to Champagne, foul's gonna be called on Painter. That'll be number seven now. That will send Champagne to the line to shoot the one and one. He's got 31 in the ball game. He has been everything in this ball game we expected to see. Fundamentally sound, scored 30 plus in this one. Nice shot. Is up and good. That's huge. Now, four point lead. Shot is up, and that's good. Timeout, 30 second timeout taken by Bishop uh, Canavan. Tim McConnell will talk it over there. We'll keep it here. This is where you make sure everybody knows the roles, responsibilities on both sides of the ball, but obviously the Lions needing to score twice the trail here by five. You gotta make sure everybody knows what has to happen, get everybody on the same page. One timeout remains for each team. Great crowd on hand today too, this two o'clock start this afternoon. And I'll tell you, once they open the doors, it filled up rather quickly. Great showing by both sides. Appreciate Clarion Limestone for rolling out the red carpet, taking such great care of us today. Lions will come the length of the court. They're going to put minimal pressure on. They're just going to pick them up at half court. 30 seconds. Here we go. Lions down by five. Painter, three-pointer on the way. No good. Ball rebounded by Champagne, and he's going to be fouled by Ferguson. So that will send Champagne up to the line for the one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the guy you least want to send to the line, but you've got no choice in that situation. Champagne is at the line with 33 already. Bends the knees. The shot is up. No good. Ball tipped. Saved. Nope, out of bounds. They're going to say the cross was out of bounds. Coach McConnell doesn't like the call. But the official was looking right down the line. Yeah, he's got the prime vantage point stoppage in play. He's got Frank the shoe. has to tie the shoe. Full court pressure put on here by Bishop Canavan. Five point lead for the Crusaders. Ball handed off, Clayton Smith, three-pointer on the way, it's off the mark. Rebound underneath is by Ferguson. 12 seconds, he's gonna take that shot quickly, that's no good. Rebound Painter, kicks it back out, Hesden, three-pointer, and it's no good. Ball rebounded by Ferguson, put back, that's no good. 
and Hesden will get that one to go, but two seconds, we're going to have a timeout. It's a full timeout here by the Lions, but it's going to be just a little too late. It is 70-67. The Lions trail by three. They're going to have to play this steal and shot is what it's going to have to be if they can get it on the inbound. Yeah, really it, it, tough situation there, but I know the the heart says go for the three. Just get the two, get the shot to fall because you got to give yourself one more opportunity to score. So, so they're going to go from like 1.6 seconds or so it was up to about two seconds, so two full seconds. Of course, Bob in his day could get off about four or five shots in that two seconds. So. Oh, yeah, no problem. No worries. <laughs> Just catch and release. What a ball game. I'll tell you what, these two teams – very fun to watch. Great athleticism on both sides. You know, over the years, many philosophies on this inbound situation, what you do. Always one of those guys who lock, lock game fire, throw it deep into the backcourt. Take, take your chances back there. Bishop Canavan electing to stay in the huddle. The max length of time. Double checking with the scores table, the amount of timeouts remaining. Lions would be out. Bishop Canavan would still have one. Here we go. Three-point lead for the Crusaders. Two seconds. And Champagne, that's your ball game. 70-67 as Bishop Canavan knocks off Clarion Limestone. And we'll take a very quick timeout. We'll come back to wrap things up. And you're watching Laurel Eye Clinic State Playoff Basketball right here. Presented by Beckwith Supply on EYT. risk to your future could be running out of money during a longer than expected retirement. Many people have not yet taken the time to determine if they will have enough assets to last throughout retirement. Our retirement income evaluator can help you develop a roadmap and actual recommendations. To learn more, stop by our office located at 162 South 2nd Avenue in Clarion. Give us a call at 223-9990 or visit JennyClarion.com. Jenny Montgomery Scott, LLC, member NYSE, FINRA, and SIP. Locally owned and operated, Hager Paving of Strattonville provides a range of services. Hot mix asphalt, cold patch asphalt, tar and chipping, and seal coating. Hager Paving's reputation in business is based on customer service, referrals, and your satisfaction. Serving residential, commercial, industrial, and local municipalities throughout western Pennsylvania. Exceptional service, exceptional quality. That's Hager Paving of Strattonville. Call 814-764-5080. That's 814-764-5080 for Hager Paving. Right back at uh, Clarion Limestone. Final score here, 70 to 67, as uh, the Lions fall to Bishop Canavan here today. Hard-fought ball game here in the opening round of the PIAA uh, first round of the playoffs in Double A Boys, and it is time now for the Clarion County Community Bank post-game show. We'll take a look at those Red Bank stats. They're brought to you uh, by Red Bank Chevrolet, and Bob has them for you. Yeah, Shea Champagne, Mike leads the way, 33 points out of Shea, 12 points out of Jason Cross, 10 out of Michael Vaughn. Four out of Gene DeFrank, three out of Louis Panza, and two out of Drew Allen. Let's say Gene DeFrank. It's actually Gino DeFrank. As a team, Mike, they were 10 of 15 from the free throw line, which, interestingly enough, three-point deficit, and I'll get to that thought in just a minute. But they made eight three-pointers in this one. For the Lions, it was a balanced attack, just not enough. Riley Klingensmith connects 19 points, 16 points out of Jordy Hesden, 11 points out of Alex Painter. Six out of Jace Ferguson, eight out of Jack Callen, three out of Ty Rankin, two out of Logan Lutz, two out of Jack Craig as a team. Seven of 15. Why is that important? Well, Lions lost by three, and Bishop Canavan was 10 of 15. So Big Lions difference. seven of 15, and that was your difference. Uh, the Lions made six three-pointers in this one. 
Hard fought ball game. They do come up just empty. Bishop Canavan, a winner, 70 to 67. Again, those stats brought to you by Red Bank Chevrolet. We continue on in the Clarion County Community Bank post game show here. It's time now for us to name our Hager Paving Player of the Ball Game. And I know Bob and I were thumb wrestling, and then Dustin broke us up, and he said, I'll tell you who it is, and who is it? Well, Dustin says it will be Shea Champagne. Mike, this guy, 33 points. We don't keep defensive stats. Obviously, a huge factor defensively. Uh, excellent ball handler. Shea Champagne is your Hager paving player of the ballgame. 33 points in this one. Again, Bishop Canavan a winner, 76-67 over Clarion Limestone. Tough season. That's a way to end the season for Clarion Limestone, but what a great season it was. KSAC champs, you were the District uh, 9 champs. Uh, they come in to the opening round against a very tough – this was a tough – seed here with Bishop Canavan and you know Coach McConnell, Tim McConnell is going to come in. This team's going to be prepared and well ready to go and they certainly were and a lot of talent on that side too that they had to deal with and they fought valiantly today just to fall by three points. Yeah, Lions did a great job uh, today, Mike. Uh, did come up short in this one. I know the disappointment right now, the feeling of the loss is, is uh, real heavy on everyone but certainly represented District 9 very well. Fans uh, certainly have appreciated the entire season. Good group of, of young men and uh, the reality is don't let this game uh, sour what the season has brought to you. Uh, very, very fun season, certainly for everybody involved, players, coaches, as well as spectators. And, again, uh, just a cra- class act group of guys out there. 100% for the Lions and Coach Ferguson and his entire crew. And, of course, down the road, uh, coming up next week, there will be some games we'll be bringing you. Do you just want to stay locked on to explore Clarion and D9 sports? Of course, Union Boy is a winner. Uh, last night, also Red Bank Valley Girls a winner, um, and we had some scores coming in today. Uh, some of the more the KSAC teams just didn't fare as well today, but it's okay. They got into the state playoffs. It was good to see, but uh, we'll let you know <clears throat> what's going on, but we do know this. Any of the games that we bring you after this point are going to be exclusively on the NFHS, so if you would like to watch those games, you will have to have a subscription to NFHS. We will be there to produce our games that we would be at but it all goes through uh, the National Federation of High School Sports. So, And contrary to popular belief, the money for your subscription does not go Mike Kalinowski's checking well, account. <clears throat> a lot of people believe that. Three cents for everyone. Three cents. I worked out a deal. <laughs> and where's my cut? You get nothing. Why does that not <laughs> surprise me? So just wanted to let you know that because I know a lot of folks will be wondering and what's going on and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, that's just how it is. The NFHS owns those interdistrict rights. We're just, <laughs> excuse me, happy that they're – you know, asking us, you know, any of the games that we are participating in uh, to bring those to you. So uh, we will do that. So that will wrap up our Clarion County Community Bank postgame show. Great season for the Lions. Bishop Canavan moves on. And Robert. I want to thank our associate producer, Aubrey, our cameraman, Chase Steinman, our producer, Dustin Kiefer, my broadcast partner, Mike Kalinowski. This is Governor Bob Dunkel saying, hey, let's be careful out there. Have a, have a great day.